Hey, Gemini, this is Soul. And Gemini, this is your bi weekly messages beginning May 21st and ending June 3rd, 2018. Messages will also be for Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising. All right, my fellow twins, I hope all is well. I do want to wish those Geminis who are celebrating their birthday during this two week period of time a very happy birthday celebration. OK, we are in or moving into Gemini season. All right. So and this next two weeks for some of you, it looks pretty good because it um, <clears throat> relates to uh, I'm looking at the last card here, the temperance card, which is uh, balance, equanimity, um, restoration uh, for things that may have been thrown off for you prior or during this two week period of time. The, the last card is um, the temperance major arcana. So and also, too, it's not only uh, related to, uh, you know, balance and uh, equilibrium and things being restored. Um, it also relates to beauty. You know, the temperance card relates to beauty. So something might be going on uh, related to um, something significant in relationship to some sort of beauty. Now, the beauty uh, is not necessarily esoteric. I guess that's the, the proper word that I'm using. <laughs> it's so funny, too, because uh, I used to always get jumped on by my mother for using words that um, I couldn't even understand. But anyway. I was always in the dictionary and reading. So anyway, if esoteric is the word that I want, please apply it to uh, what I'm trying to say. All right. So Gemini balance. And this is harmony, creativity, beauty, the beauty of things being restored. Look at it that way. We open up the energy with you uh, or for you, I should say, with the seven of Pentacles in the reverse. So past information relates to some Gemini's. Uh, either having some sort of work projects um, that they were working on. Uh, this could also involve the workplace environment that you had a task or assignments and you worked very hard to complete those assignments. OK, this is the seven of Pentacles in the reverse position for those Gemini's who had um, put a great deal of effort into some sort of project work or other. It could have been your career, working hard on goals, working hard on uh, trying to build up your career, build up um, some kind of energy related to whatever it is that you do. OK, um, but keep it focused on uh, this is a general reading. So but open it up and keep it focused on the pentacles represent work and finance and other things. OK, uh, pentacles represent Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female, whether or not you had exchanges with those energies, it doesn't really matter. But this. Uh, message is for the ones who have been working very, very hard on um, goals, projects, uh, work related uh, situations, whatever career coming to uh, completion. That's the seven of Pentacles in the reverse for the others for the next two weeks. That means that there are either pending projects or there is going to be uh, something that you work on uh, that's going to take a great deal of effort for you to complete. OK, now. Just because I said that doesn't mean that, you know, you're not going to finish it or see it through. You will. This is just a message for those Gemini's in the next two weeks that you have some work cut out for you. Uh, but you may be, uh, you know, working on personal projects uh, It may be in collaboration with others in terms of other projects. It could be something associated with the workplace environment, whatever it is or whatever it means for you, Gemini. This is what I'm uh, coming up with now the queen of swords which is representing your energy and that energy of libra and um yeah aquarius male or female and this is the female the queen but it could also represent male energies it's the older energy it's in the reverse position but i like the fact uh in trying to tie in the message connected to this uh, seven of pentacles that's in the reverse there may be something that goes on related to some sort of project or you may have an idea of working on a project, but you don't know how to, um, you know, manifest it or let it unfold for you. OK, this is you. This is you and uh, in indecisive mode. OK, having to think the queen is facing the seven of pentacles. So I do feel that I am speaking to a. a you know, Gemini or two that is either about to undertake a project or if it's associated with a goal, career, work related uh, matters or not, there's something um, where you are 
uh, not quite sure because this is a card of uncertainty and um, you need to have clarity when it's clear when you gain clarity I should say it's when it's in the upright position okay because that sword was used to cut out any confusion or anything that was um, you know you know creating that confusion for you okay so the queen is in the reverse so there's a project pending this might be related to also um you know some sort of financial aspect as well uh, not deciding or indecisive about some sort of financial matter that is uh, significant for you whatever that is um you can apply this message but i do feel it's related to somebody older energy i don't know it's older energy It may not be an older Gemini or an older, you know, woman, male, but it could be just the energy in itself. Uh, and what I'm saying relates to uh, being indecisive about some sort of work related matter or goal or project that you're about to undertake for the next two weeks. The good thing is uh, I'm skipping around here just so you know that whatever it is, and it might be just the start of the, the week, you're going to be successful because now we have the. Uh, ace of swords and this is victory and success okay so you make up your mind in uh, terms of what you're going to do uh and it may not be you know let me just say it may not even be related to a project but it's some sort of uh i guess it's some sort of goal that you're trying to uh achieve or attempt to achieve and and the you know the ace of swords comes in in the upright position to say that you are going to be victorious and successful aces are always fresh starts new beginning now, it may be related to having uh, to clear up some sort of confusion um, based on choices since the seven of cups is right in the middle uh, in between the king. I'm sorry, the queen of uh, swords. And then it's in the middle of the ace of swords. So it may be because there's something going on and related to having uh, multiple options or choices. It's in the reverse position. So when it's in the reverse position, that means that, you know, following the seven of cups in the uh, uh, reverse is the ace. So you make up your mind and choose whatever it is, whether it's related to a project, career goal, whatever, in collaboration with working with other people. Uh, the seven of cups is in the reverse. That means you are going to make that choice. OK, and hopefully because the ace of swords follows the seven of cups, uh, seven of cups representing water energy cancer scorpio pisces male or female whether or not you have exchanges with those energies it doesn't really matter um the ace of swords is up in the upright following the seven of cups because you have made a choice or you have selected a choice and you are going to move forward uh within that choice two of pentacles follow follows the ace of swords and i like that because it's in the reverse as well see and it mirrors the temperance card Two of uh, Pentacles, just to show you in contrast here, Gemini, that is, you know, you're trying to balance two things, okay? You're doing a juggling act, back, balancing act. The, the ship in the background on the uh, curvy water, that uh, could be related to some sort of emotions. Uh, and there's something that is, uh, well, it's in the upright, and I'm showing you in contrast, but your card was selected in the uh, reverse. So if there was any kind of emotional stuff going on, in terms of you having to do some sort of balancing act, juggling two things. It could have been two relationships, could have been two jobs, uh, you know, uh, balancing, balancing the checkbook. You know, seven of pentacles is over top of the two. Of, uh, this two of pentacles is in the reverse saying that that balance is coming back or being restored, that you got things in order or you're working towards getting things in order. Two of see, it's a lot of twos here. Two of, uh, and I think it's, you know, it could be in direct relationships to other people, but uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be. The Pentacles again with Earth, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female. And now we have fire. Two of Wands in the reverse position. And this is actually pretty good because whatever, um, if it's related to some sort of stagnation or lack of progress in terms of your goals or what project or that you want or how you want to go about trying to establish or manifest a project or a goal that you had planned. This two of wands is like the three of wands in the upright position, positive energy moving forward. Now, it could relate to another uh, actual person, but it doesn't necessarily have to. Now, the uh, contrasting energy relates to the two of wands being in the upright position where there you could feel some sort of lack of uh, stagnation or lack of progress and so, some sort of um, 
uh, energy related to possibly a relationship, you know, with a fire sign. If it's a, if it is a true fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. If it's not related to another person, it could be just uh, you. Uh, Two of Wands also represents goal planning, laying things down in terms of um, what you're, you know, planning to do or what you want to achieve later on in life. Now, this is someone has already laid those plans down and now you're moving forward. That's the two of um, Wands in the reverse releasing you saying it's OK. It's OK for you to go ahead and uh, do whatever it is that you uh, set your mind to do or to um Bring forth whatever you, it is that you want to manifest into your life, whether it's a relationship, whether it's, you know, a new job, career or whatever, whatever it is, Gemini, just apply the message. Now, the uh, topsy turvy to this um, uh, whole this is still a real positive reading for some of the Gemini's that I'm reading for is that somebody still has a fear. Somebody has a fear. This is the fool in the reverse. Now, of course, you know, the fool is all about uh, it's a major arcana. And it's all about taking that leap of faith and that if you choose to take that leap of faith and it's about taking risk, then, you know, being adventurous, the universe is going to be there to support you. Uh, but somebody's a little bit hesitant. Somebody has <laughs> somebody has a little bit of fear of not wanting to venture ahead. But I feel that it has something related to um, future energy because the fool is in the reverse and it's facing the future. So I'm feeling that it's something related to something that could be, you know, upcoming or, um, yeah, something that's upcoming and someone has uh, is fearful of taking that step forward or that leap of faith. Now, that could be also tied into, since it sits underneath the cups, I'm just going to give you a quick example. It could have been, you know, a relationship. The cups represent love and emotion, so maybe a relationship. Maybe it is based on the choices related to love and relationship and somebody is afraid to take that leap of faith but whatever you you know you decide to do whatever you decide to do you're going to be victorious and successful okay and then whatever again um takes place it's going to offer it should offer some sort of balance or restoring some sort of balance harmony peace OK, like I said, there's some something related to some beauty of something. I don't know what that is. The beauty of um, it could be the beauty of opportunities or it could be the beauty of you achieving your goal, whatever it is that you set out to achieve. It could be the beauty of having to actually manifest uh, whatever your desires were uh, based on the seven of cups uh, energy. OK, and in terms of options and because, uh, you know, the cups is multiple things to pick and choose from but make sure you always pick something that's going to resonate with you because you don't want it to come back and bite you in your ass so i do feel that someone um that i'm reading for is successful work related career related projects co uh collaboration and working with others it could be working together on a project with someone else and, you know, you get the job done. And it might be just simply uh, if it is you, uh, you know, Gemini directly and you're trying to figure out uh, and it's related to a project. And you're working in collaboration with others as you try, trying to decide how to best go about that energy. OK, making a choice, but you are going to achieve it. You're going to be victorious and successful with the Ace of Swords showing up here. And that's your energy. All right. So that's what I have for you, Gemini. I hope it's helpful, beneficial. Um, I want to wish you all a very safe upcoming two weeks ahead. Always emphasize the safety. Please enjoy your birthday until I talk to you again, Gemini. Please be well. Bye.